On Long Island Zone, you can hear him every Sunday morning on Apple AM Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, funny Richie Bird, everybody, Richie Bird. Give it up for Sam and Mary. Come on, let him hear it. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to be working. I had to take last week off. I had a wedding. My cousin got married. He's 22. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> he didn't have to, he wanted to. <laughs> He's like, dude, I love her. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> It'll pass. <laughs> Drink a lot of liquid. <laughs> Whole family was there, so my mom got the death mom. My mother just turned 66. She's been dying for 37 years. <laughs> Death mom's a brutal, you know why? You can never plan ahead, you never know. I'm like, Mom, what do you want next month for your birthday? She's like, I could be dead before my birthday. I'm like, well, if you're not, slippers? And you know what's weird? She gets that from her mother. My grandmother's 89. She's been dying for 51 straight years. Every holiday's her last. Makes for a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> you walk in the house, you're like, hey, Graham, happy holidays. She's like, everybody enjoy. Oh. <laughs> I won't be here next year. I'm like, well, that's 10 bucks. I'll be out. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I get $10 from my grandmother three times a year. Christmas, Easter, and my birthday. $30 a year, grown man. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Actually, it's sad and pathetic. It's sad because she thinks she has to give a grown man $10 on the holidays. It's pathetic because I really need that freaking cash. <laughs> Good wedding, though, my cousin's wedding. I'm married now. I've been married a few years, not that long. I love my wife. I'm not done. I love my wife, but I gotta say, I think I love that health insurance plan that her job brings to the table. <laughs> my wife's got a health insurance. I'm a comedian. We have no plan. <laughs> my wife's got her, you know, she's a health insurance, 401k, like an adult. <laughs> she's a vice president for a big day. She loves her job, but sometimes she can have a bad day, like everybody else in their job. And when she had a bad day before we were married, I was there for her. I was a supportive boyfriend, right? She'd come home, she'd be like, they suck, they suck. They treat me terrible, I'm overworked, I'm underpaid, I'd be there. I'd be like, quit, quit. You better than this. You don't need this. Now we're married, I got a health plan. She comes home, she's like, they treat me terrible, I'm overworked, I'm like, suck it up and go in. I got a dentist appointment at two. I need twenty dollars for the copay. I love this health insurance. I go to every doctor. I didn't go to a doctor for fifteen years. I go to everybody. I went to a gynecologist last night. A little cold. I got a follow up in June. I went to my doctor, my family doctor. It's been on me for years to get all the tests. You gotta get all the tests. Right? So now you have insurance, you gotta get all the tests. So we did every, every. Blood, urine, this other test. <laughs> that I don't think is a test. <laughs> I think my doctor's in love with me. <laughs> the finger? I almost his finger, I couldn't see. <laughs> The prostate? The, is this for real? You guys are looking at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't understand this test. We live in a time and a place where a woman gets pregnant. She goes to the doctor. They run a machine over her stomach and they can tell the sex of the baby, right? She's a boy. She's a girl. But the only way to find out if my prostate is swollen is for this guy to stick his finger on my ass? I don't think so. <laughs> He said my cholesterol's high. I'm shocked. I'm 
gained weight, too. I know I've gained weight. I'm a guy. Guys always know when they've gained weight. You know why? Because they have other guys there to tell them. Men are mean. <laughs> Women are like that. You're very nice. You're very classy. You wait till she leaves the room. <laughs> now, guys, guy gains a couple of pounds, walks room full of guys. Guys are like, whoa, Tommy! Wompa, <laughs> wompa. I've gained weight. I gotta lose weight. Gotta lose it. I looked at that gastric bypass surgery, that weight surgery. You know there's a weight minimum on that? 100 pounds. You have to be at least 100 pounds overweight to get that surgery. You know you're getting old, fat, and lazy when you start thinking it might be easier to gain the 60 than lose the 40. And a lot more fun. I've been Richie Byrne. Enjoy the rest of the show.